Today we're making zero total carb keto bread and a few other things. Let's go. This bread is actually made with my clean keto chicken flour blend and I show you some other variations like this one's made with the almond flour blend and we also made some breakfast rolls and some long rolls as well. Now these two are actually made with my Pullman loaf which I highly recommend and you can see the difference you actually get a higher bread because the loaf is just really squared off. So this one is actually made with a standard loaf tin and you can see how that tastes turns out if you only have this it's totally fine. What I love about this blend is that you never need to use foil again. You never need to cover it. It holds its shape really, really well. And as you can see, without the foil, it doesn't burn. It just has beautiful browning. And it's 0.28 total carbs per slice. And you get about three total carbs for the entire loaf. This recipe is actually really easy. It's based on my nut butter bread. It takes four main ingredients and I added a little bit of sweetener to improve the taste. The nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box. Let's get into this recipe now. Add two and a half cups of the clean keto flour to a bowl then 240 grams or one cup of egg whites. I just used carton egg whites so it's easy. Next add one and a half cups of water, one fourth cup of melted butter that's been cooled, two tablespoons of baking powder and the last ingredient is optional which is one tablespoon of monk fruit powdered sweetener. Combine all the ingredients either by hand or use a mixing machine. Do scrape down the sides of the bowl so all the ingredients are incorporated and give it a final mix. Add all of the dough to a lined loaf pan Pressing the dough into the corners and also do smooth off the surface so you have a good looking bread. Bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius for 50 minutes. That's 5-0. Remove it from the oven and let it cool. And this is how the bread turns out. It has a lovely color to it. The crust is crusty and it's soft on the inside. Do note the bread is so white on the inside because I used egg whites. If you want to use whole eggs, the inside of your bread will be a light yellow. This bread is made with the almond flour blend, so I wanted to show you the results in case you didn't want to use chicken flour. It has a really beautiful crust and is also really soft on the inside. I also tried making breakfast rolls and this recipe would make six in total. I'm using a silicone bun mold and as before I filled each casing and smoothed off the surface. I also wanted to try making a hoagie roll so I filled this hot dog mold and smoothed off the dough. I baked all the rolls at the same temperature which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius for 40 minutes this time, that's 4-0. Cutting into the rolls, for me it turned out the same as both breads I showed you earlier. And what about this hoagie roll? It seems to have a few more air pockets but other than that it has the same result. The almond flour version is just delicious. Now for the main bread, the chicken flour blend. 
I can't taste any chicken. It just feels like there's a slight variation of flavor to the almond. The almond flour one is just like white bread. This one, it's almost like I added a teaspoon of chicken spice in it, but it's delicious as well and really filling. I feel like I have given you quite a few variations with this bread, so it's quite versatile. And four main ingredients plus a little bit of sweetener should give you the exact same results as mine. Coming up real soon, we are going to do BizQuick and a pasta recipe for you. So I hope you stay tuned. I hope you can join us on a Saturday for one of our lives where we are doing lots of experimentation and it's kind of like our test kitchen. It's actually lots of fun for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make this bread. Stay safe and be well.